I'll give you one uh, good, uh, quick, you know, uh, idea. Uh, how much time I have? Okay, so I have uh, 30 minutes. We'll finish this class at 11.15. I, I try to start on time and finish on time. Uh, especially for the East Coast guys, you know, we know it is, it is, you know, heading towards the midnight now. So, so just for information. So that's just we are another 30 minutes or less, whatever time we have. So, uh, gmail.com. You all familiar with this? So, let let me give you one example which you get what the testers do. And uh, just a second. Okay, see this page, which is at my screen. If I ask you, if I ha if Google hire you, and they put you on this project Gmail, which is one of the very important project, millions customer using this project. I mean, using this, uh, you know, the solution. And if this not work, Google will be in trouble, and of course, the you know the people who are using they will be trouble too because you can't log in, you can't see your mails, you know, you can't send, you can't receive any you all know how you feel if if, if it if it doesn't work. So but anyway, but let's say you know you are using as a user, but let's say before releasing to the outside people, what happens if you go inside the company and they say we are putting you on this project, can you tell tell me how will you test? And this is one of my assignment question too. So I'm already creating some assignment question which will be followed up, uh, you know, and this is also my favorite question for uh, testers whom I interview, you know, in the company, and I, I'm I'm doing from last ten years this thing, and believe me, if the guy come with that, I have a master's degree, PhD degree, I have a bachelor, I have a um, I have no degree, I have you know this thing, I have ten years experience, one year. Experience, I really ask this question, you know, to the people, and then see how that person analyzes. And I'm also asking to you, you know, here, even though I know this is the very first day, and a lot of people have no background, but still I'm asking that question. And think, and the reason why I'm asking is because the testing is pure common sense. It's really, really not needed. You know, if you have a common sense, you have a desire. It is very, very important part of the IT. You know, and we, I'll keep proving you um, why. Um, day by day but it's purely common sense and of course if you it is a little wide also you know and and that's why you create opportunity also keep in mind if you think it's too easy something you really want to do too easy because you don't want to do hard then nobody will pay you you know if you really want to do too easy thing then why someone will pay you you know the good money if you don't want to take a pain if you don't want to take a challenge you don't want to solve their problem the, the customers and the companies are very smart. If they find that they don't need you, and they always try that. All the U.S. companies or even the other places too, they always try that to how to, you know, to reduce the cost, how to eliminate the people. But it's still the things are growing and, and, you know, and they can't do it. We'll discuss some other day. But why, how will you test this? Anyone? What will you test on this? Uh, let me ask this question to you and see if you can have some suggestions. What will you test? I, I, as a tester, I hired you. I say I'll pay you $50 an hour. And I, this is my first task I gave you in the company. You t go and test this page. OK. Okay, the logging credentials working properly. Good. What else? Okay. Anyway, let me answer. It's good you're trying and you're thinking and, and at least you know you think like you can answer maybe you know, but when I take the interview, this is one of my interview questions, and whether I'm asking you day one or whether I will ask you again in the, during the training or you know the, after the training, we go for the interview drills and all kind of you know the preparation. We have a tons of things you know already, which you do side by side. Uh, how well the the person explain this thing and how they think that really I decide based on that you know whether should I hire or not. You will be surprised at how much stories they make. 
they say, oh, you know what, I was testing this, this was my project, I was busy in this, and you know, I mean, did not come up with what exactly the sensible thing is. So, if I have to answer, you know, if I, if I have to answer this question, I will try to analyze and see if you tell me to test this page, I will test first of all that the layout of page is correct. Like, is really the customer or the Google or whoever created this, you know, the requirement? Is this page should be exactly look like this? Is the Google should be in the, in the middle or it should be on the right hand side or on the left hand side? Is the Google should have all this color? Is the second one should be in the red and third is this? You might, do you think it's matter for, uh, for, uh, for Google? You go and ask them. They'll tell you how much matter for them, you know. And Google is a brand name. Uh, you know, if it if, if if it is something funny, if they have the second thing is spelling. What happen if there is a three G, three O or some spelling mistake? Do you think is you say oh this is a small thing it can be fixed? Yes, but it can become a uh, you know it can become a Wall Street news next day. It's possible their stock goes down ten percent. They say what kind of smart people you guys have? You know you can't really fix your page. You can't have really, you know, uh, your spelling is correct, your layout is correct, your features are. So this is equally important too, that all the layout is correct, is spelling is correct. Um, someone said that this login is working, which is absolutely, you know, needed. You go and register and they mail you login uh, password and you try to log in and it is not working. Why it is not working? Because developers messed up the code. And, and you know and testers not tested or they have not had the testers and now things are not wor working how a developer say is working now you can know if the things not work for one day what will happen to Google how much there's another interesting question I was with the discussion with the customer last week and uh, we were talking about you know some testing you know the thing and and he asked me uh, actually this question he said do you know one bug how much it cost me there's the kind of bug he was telling me and I asked how much. He said hundred million dollar. He said that if you not find that and if you not you know uh, validate and if you not catch on time, he says possible it will cost me hundred million dollar. So this is another very important thing. This is another question that how much testing is valuable. Answer is from zero dollar. Maybe it costs nothing. Maybe you know if you have some mistake, maybe it costs nothing. To multi million and billion dollars it can cost you. So so th those, so that's why I'm saying that testing is very important. But anyway, come back to this question. So make sure the login is work. When you enter the correct login password, it is working. Make sure when you enter the incorrect login password, it should not work. Like if I type nothing and hit enter, it should not work. So that's called the negative mentality, negative testing. You know the test. Positive means when some something supposed to work. Let me test whether it's working or not. If you see here, there's a link here, need help. When you click this, it's it opening this page. This is not just for fun. It was very clearly, de uh, it is very clearly uh, mentioned in the requirement document that there should be a need help link. And when then, when user click the link, what should be the next page look like? So as a tester, you make sure this link is working. I know it is working now because it is already tested by the Google and released for the end user. So they have took out all the mistakes. But inside the company, it is really important. Uh, you have to test. You are hired for this and you are paid $40 or $50 an hour or $60 for this. And then this is your job. And you will, so that's, I really want to tell you, this is a real solution. This is not, this Gmail is a real solution. And what you're testing is one of the, real work, this is what you're going to do there. And what exactly is needed? Is it needed your master's degree? Is it needed? No, it needed your common sense and the skills and, you know, and, 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 and those kind of things. So but anyway, I'll come to that. If you see there's a link here, sign in with different user, make sure that link is working, whatever. Yeah, um, make sure if you go there, you know, there's all social media links are there. This is not just for beautification. Make sure these things are working. If you go there, here, you see these links are here at the bottom, four links, make sure these links are working. It's supposed to do it. So as a tester, this is, this is exactly what you're doing, you know, for this test. And after 10 year experience, if you come and answer this way, 
maybe it's possible with one good answer I'll let you in because I see you have a common sense and you have really rational thinking. It's also possible you have 10 year experience and you're talking nonsense and you're really not able to figure out what exactly to talk. It's possible I'm not interested in your resume or your skill set or your degree. And that's why I really want to communicate to the people that IT companies are, if what, what go, uh, um, there's a lot of things I want to answer to this, you know, this, this exercise. What Google will be interested? If they hire you, are they interested what degree you have or what exactly the skills you have? Are they interested how smart you are to make sure nothing is left on this page, everything is detected, fixed, and go outside with the top quality? They're pretty much interested in that. You know, that's what they're hiring you. So how well you will do and how well you will prove? Now the question is, you will say, I don't have this, I don't have this, I have only this. Leave this thing for them. Those guys are very smart. They figure out who, whom they should hire and whom they should not hire. Right? So you focus your energy on the right direction. Leave this thing for them. They will figure out. Generally, they figure out, you know. And once you have the good credential, means, you know, you talk good, you know the work, you know how to do, there will be a lot of opportunities for you. If you just keep manipulating all the time and not knowing the right thing and guessing, should I do the training here? Should I save $100 there? Should I go to that guy? Should I listen to my friend? Uh, let me take training. If this work, this may not work. Pretty much, you anyway losing the battle, you know, with all this thing. You know, you do your research. Nothing wrong in that, I'm saying. Find out the thing. But you are wasting, you know, you have to spend, you have to go in the industry for the rest of your life, not just for a few months. You've got this guy, then fire this thing. And the work is not hard. That's I can guarantee you. We will fulfill you with, with a lot of things, you know. So anyway, so this is what you test. You know, this is, now he was talking to about the test cases, you know, the test plan, all those documents. So that will be tomorrow. I will take to you. But what, what happened is, whatever you, the, what is, why you get paid for the, in the, in the company? Only one reason. Find the defects. Tester job is, validate what is working, what is not working. And how we will do that, there is a process involved. You have to write the test cases, you know, you, you make all kind of planning, you, you, you use some tool to store the results, you, you, you do some way to communicate the developer. All those processes needed, you know, to get the job. However, your ultimate job is find the defect, find the bug, which you can do right now, you know, after, without the job, without the degree. You can start working, you know, our website, you start working, you know, once you have knowledge, you will work anyway. And tomorrow, we will give first assignment a website which has the defects, and you have to find out the defects using your common sense. And all the people who are here with all kind of different background, you will be surprised, it will not help you much, it will help your common sense. You know, if you have that, if you follow this, it will come. So. And we will teach and mentor you and, and, and things. So that, that's the one thing where I'm going to ask you and discuss with you and see. And sometime here in the class, we, we give some kind of you know, small token like maybe a Starbucks $10 coffee card or something. Whoever I find the defect is best. Even on the very first day, you know. So I don't mind putting you on the very first day or second day exactly what you have to do rest of the life as a software tester. So I'm pretty confident that I can make you uh, happen. And if you're not confident, you should not be here too, uh, because really, if your confidence is not there, we don't need you. Uh, go and save your money, you spend somewhere else. But if you're not confident, build the confidence with us. Learn the things, develop the strategy. There's another. Um, there is another uh, uh, um, uh, the slide here. So this is one thing. What is testing and what tester does? This is what they find to find the defect how they communicate to the developer, how they do using the automation, how they look from the database. I'm not going to touch today. But the one I ask you, believe me, that will be one of my interview questions always. No matter how you have 30 year experience, still I'm going to ask you this. Um, and the answer I also gave you. Um, so, which was not something which you cannot understand. So if you go back here, uh, 